Hey guys, good afternoon. It's about 12.30, almost 12.30. Autumn just went down for a nap. I have had a productive computer day. I like to start my day off with my computer stuff if I can. I haven't edited for the day, but I like to start here because I just feel like it gets, I don't know, my to-do list always has to do with like calling, doing something online, submitting a form, you know, checking emails, planning, whatever. Like it always has something to do with what I'm doing here. So I was able to get some stuff done. I got up, was productive this morning, made my bed. I put my last load of laundry in the dryer. So now all I need to do is fold, which is the worst part. I can wash laundry all day long, but folding it, ugh, <laughs> I cannot stand folding. I wish there was a machine where you could just magically put everything in it and it would fold it for you. Auto, Maddie went to swim class and the desk took her so that I could get stuff done here around the house and I've pretty much been sitting at the computer for the last two hours while Autumn had her speech therapy and then Autumn had lunch now she's done for a nap checking off my some of my things on my to-do list I had to fill out paperwork for um, Girl Scout stuff and submit that I had to finish up Emmy's some of her stuff for school some of her paperwork so she's all good everything's all good the girls are in there playing Legos playing with their Legos nicely hopefully for a little while I'm about done here I'm opening up the Etsy shop so I actually put it on vacation when we left for vacation in June because I was just falling behind and I couldn't make time to sit down and do things and so now is the time to reopen it so I'm actually running a like reopen sale I will put a coupon code here for 25% off your order no minimum purchase which is awesome um, once the girls go to school and I have more time I'm going to dedicate an hour or two every morning to YouTube and Etsy stuff so that's going to be creating new listings and interacting and just doing different things so hopefully that'll be here in the next month or so once everyone's back into school but until then, uh, we're just reopening the Etsy shop. <laughs> I haven't actually cut stickers, but I have a lot in stock. So there's lots of fun things. 25% off your order is really great. I probably won't have another sale until closer to the holidays. So if you're in need of stickers, I've got a lot of messages that I've just been completely ignoring for the last month and a half because I didn't plan on reopening the shop until the girls went back to school. But I was like, you know what, I can afford to get rid of some of the stock that I have to make room for new listings because, I mean, that's all my stickers over there. All of that is stock that I have and it I'm running out of room. So it'll be nice to make a little bit of room for the new listings that I have planned. I have so many ideas, so many clip art things. I have a running list of stuff that you guys have requested that I'm going to be adding. So that's going to be super exciting. Look out for that. Um, yeah, planner's looking good. Got that all done for the day. And right now it's just chilling. We don't have anything else the rest of the day. Let me make sure because I always say that and then I look. And all I have is Betty Swim Class, Autumn Speech. I wanted to go work out. I didn't have it because I didn't wake up to go to swim class with Maddie. So Andres took her, he wanted to watch her. She passed level three, so she'll be starting level four or like a three, four next week, which is super exciting. The rest of the day, we're going to be little hermit crabs and just staying inside all day. And maybe later tonight, we'll go do something. I wanna go visit my grandma. I feel like I've been, I've seen her and I've, I've talked to her like every day but that's because I've been in her house organizing, so I feel like her presence is with me, but I haven't actually been to see her in several days. So maybe tonight I can see if someone can watch the girls on the desk works tonight so that I can go visit her for a little while. And then tomorrow he's off. We have zero plans, which is awesome. So it'll be a fun family day, and then I go to work Saturday. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm doing. So again, if you're interested in ordering any stickers, I will list that coupon code here with a link to my shop down below. Hi. <laughs> Nap time's over? Yeah. Where's your hair tie, mama? I did. <laughs> Where's your hair tie? What'd you do with it? It's down. I think she said it died somewhere. I know, I swear she's saying it died. Where's your hair tie? 
Adam. <laughs> What'd you do with it, Mama? Did it die, Mama? What'd you do with hair tie? Die. You're so silly, you know that. Is that Mama? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, come on. It has been a very boring day. Boring. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys. In the fridge, so I kind of want to look up fridge organization videos. For the most part, I feel like my fridge is fairly organized. You guys have seen it several times. I keep milk, condiments, um, cheese and butter, condiments condiments <laughs> and then in here I keep fruit in here and veggies in here we're pretty nicely stocked here um, because I was bad all weekend not just me we were bad all weekend not necessarily that I ate bad we just ate out a lot like all weekend <laughs> so we still have lots of food which is the unfortunate part about eating out you spend all the money on all the food and now it's like you have to spend more money or recalculate everything because like I used to if you guys have been watching me for a long time I used to actually have a budget for eating out and I haven't had a budget for eating out in a year and a half at least a year I think it's been closer to a year and a half but I haven't had a budget for eating out in so long that I don't even think about that anymore until I go to budget and then I'm like why last month did we spend $150 on eating out or $200 on eating out? That's only happened like twice since I started my weight loss journey and this month was one of them. July was one of them. It was a bad month for eating out for sure. I think out of the month we usually eat out like maybe twice, sometimes like three times or four times depending on if we have an event once a week or whatever but the, I think in July we ate out like six or seven times. That was Nin. Like I said, I try really hard not to miss anybody's phone calls. She's talking about um, her yard sale and stuff this weekend. I was gonna go over there and help her have a yard sale today. and I mean today, tomorrow, since some of the rest is off, but she had an appointment and had to um, cancel it. So I was like, okay, fine. No biggie. Um, but, what was I saying? Oh, about eating out. Um, yeah, I think we ate out like six or seven times, which is abnormally way too much for us. Way, way too much. So, because of that, you know, those four or five extra nights that we ate out that we could have had dinner at home, I have a little bit extra food. But that's another reason why I was able to go so long without groceries, because we didn't have a whole lot of food. Anywho, I, um found this at my grandma's house and she had it like in, she wasn't using it, it's a storage container for a fridge. I've never really been one to like have storage containers other than for my eggs. Oh, okay, thank you. I, I wasn't in the fridge or anything, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm gonna shut it? Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Cutie, my little cutie, po cutie. <laughs> so I think what I was talking about is organization on um, fridge, like fridge organizers. Other than my eggs, I've never really been a huge fan of doing like fridge organizers. But I'm thinking ever since I found that one, I was like, hmm, maybe I should try it. Organize every other part of my life. Why not that? So I don't know if you guys have any people or storage ideas for a fridge, definitely let me know in the comments below because I am good with organization and things everywhere else, but is the container store really like the best place? I've never looked for those things in Walmart or anything like that, so yeah. This morning, for dinner tonight, this morning Andres um, cooked some barbecue chicken that I had defrosted. He just stuck it in the oven and watched it for me. I'm going to make a salad before the salad goes bad. And some macaroni for the girls. I probably won't have the macaroni and just have some um, barbecue chicken. Actually, it's barbecue seasoned chicken, not barbecue sauce chicken with a big old salad. And then we're going to see my grandma tonight, which I'm super excited. Maybe I'll show you guys her. She's doing so good. I mean, like, exceptionally well and I hate to even say those kinds of things because I don't want to jinx it but she should be home in less than a week and we're super excited the rehab is going very very well
The girls are sitting down eating. I'm about to eat my plate, which I put in a what's for dinner. Is that yummy? We have some chicken, a little bit of mac and cheese, and, and an salad. It's delicious. And an otter. And an <laughs> So the, this is actually one of the girls' favorite things. They love the salad that I make. They love the chicken. Hmm. Can I make some salad and ketchup for my chicken, please? Sure. Thank you. It is a thumbs up scale to 1 to 1,000 and 2 is over 1,000. I want to make anyone this recipe. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, well, I'm glad y'all like it. Oh, you better be careful. You're going to poke oh, an eyeball. Yeah, I like it so much. The kuai we Hi, everybody. <laughs> I had to for, convince her a little bit. Yeah, thank you for <laughs> thinking about me. Love you all. No. I'm getting out of here soon, so thanks she for praying is. for me. We got a discharge day of the night. Mom, why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> now we have to show mom. <laughs> why of are course you? I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> why are you crying? <laughs> I'm happy that she's going to be getting out. I know. We're so happy. We're talking about... That is a crappy picture. Oh, but my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we got a discharge day. She, hopefully... Hoping and praying everything goes well. She'll be discharged on the 9th at 11. So we're really excited. She's giving me a list of stuff to go buy at the grocery store. And we're talking about the last room in her house. Which she's not wanting to do just yet. But we're getting there. We are leaving my grandma for the night. We're headed home. She was a little nervous about being on camera. But I told her, I said, it's okay. If you don't want to, we don't have to. I said, but I know everyone would love to see you. I mean, you guys asked about her even before all of this happened. And so she was like, okay. So she's fluffing up her hair and stuff. And she's so cute. I just love her. Anyway, we're very excited that she's doing a lot better. The PT is going very well. She's been able to get a good amount of strength back. She's walking very tiny bits amount of, of an amount with a walker. She's working her way up to being without the walker, so that's really great. So hopefully by the time she gets to go home, she'll be almost back to 100%. Um, some of her longevity and her uh, stamina to be able to walk and you know spend six hours at Walmart type thing won't be there, but she'll be able to build up to that. So we were talking about different parts of her house and the next project we're going to tackle, which is her office that I'm going to go help my mom with on Sunday. I was comfortable doing anything in my grandma's house except going through her personal papers. I know a lot about my grandma's life and financials and papers and things like that, but I just didn't feel comfortable enough going through things that needed to be shredded or recycled. Like I just didn't feel comfortable going through that. Uh, I was comfortable going through everything else and organizing and finding a new home for everything else in the house, but except that. So my mom took on that task and a lot of what's in the office is papers, documents, old, I don't even know, tax returns and different things from, um, a lot of it honestly is from when my grandpa was alive and he's been gone 10 years now. So it, it's just something that my mom needs to do and she will be able to get it done this weekend. And then I will be there to reorganize everything and move things and haul things off for her and, and stuff like that. So that'll be the final thing of uh, my grandma's house, final organizational project. And then next week I'm going to meal prep for my grandma so that when she gets home, she'll have plenty of fresh home cooked, healthy meals. She'll be on a little bit of a different diet. She's been on a cardiac diet for the last two weeks. And my grandma eats pretty healthy anyway but she can't have a lot of sodium, like hardly at all, and she's on a lower fat diet, which again, she already kind of was on that kind of diet, but um, I'm going to meal prep for her so she doesn't really have to worry about coming home and being overwhelmed with all the changes in her house, and then on top of that, having to cook and grocery shop and none of that. Like, And Nin and mom are going to alternate staying with her so that she can get reacclimated to being at home if she needs help, someone's there to help her and she doesn't have to worry about calling out because, you know, we do worry about her staying alone and she does not want to live with somebody else. She absolutely hates being in the hospital and hates everyone, like, hanging all over her and stuff. She does not like it from the get-go. She's wanted to be at home 
in her own bed catering to herself and you know she's had to let some control go and she doesn't like that so a few more weeks of letting some control go <laughs> and she should be back to her old self after that so I told her I was like you're gonna have to go grocery shopping because not only did we clean out the fridge several times of like things that went bad with her being gone I mean this weekend she'll be gone three weeks so has been three weeks It, it has been three weeks, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has. Anyway, she, every time we go over there, all of us, big kids and little kids, eat all the snacks and stuff. So, I told her, I was like, you're going to have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. We've been drinking all your bottled water and eating all your snacks. And she's like, that's okay as long as it's going somewhere that I know, you know, it's feeding somebody and it's not just going to waste. Anyway, that was a nice visit. I hadn't seen her in several days, so made me feel good to get to hang out with her for a little while and talk about the things that she I don't know, still wants to accomplish in her house and stuff like that so anyway my mom was there too as you guys saw my poor mom she's so emotional um, but she was there too and we got to talk about different things as well so now we are headed home it's like some sort of accident oh there we worker not nah, like sweep street sweepers um, we're headed home the girls are going to go straight to bed straight to bed luckily we had dinner and everything before we left and I still need to edit and then probably just rest and relax it's been a pretty good day I did not fold laundry like I had originally wanted to do maybe I'll get the strength to do it tonight but if I don't it's just laundry like the last few weeks I've been looking at you know, my grandma being in the hospital has really opened my eyes to the fact that don't take your family, your loved ones, your friends, anybody for granted because in just a split second, something can happen and the housework can wait and the laundry can wait and the dishes can wait. Like if you can be in the moment with somebody and you can spend a little bit of extra time with them or you're like, don't want to go do something, but they want you to go do it do it because you never know when that moment could be taken away from you and that I mean I've always felt like that like seize the moment carpe diem you know type of thing but I never really have felt it until this happened with my grandma and we've had several scares with my grandma like when she was diagnosed with bladder cancer and she's had a few other little scares too but this is the number one this was like definitely the number one and it just really made me realize like I have, I take having a grandparent left for granted because there's so many people that don't have grandparents. Like Andres, his grandparents have been gone for years. His grandpa had passed away and then I didn't know him when his grandpa had passed away and then his grandma passed away. Like when we first got together, we, we were pretty fresh in our relationship and my grandpa had passed away when we were fresh in our relationship as well. And now I just have my grandma and like I said I take for granted the fact that I still have her I'm gonna be 32 this year and I still have a grandparent a lot of people don't have their grandparents a lot of people don't have their parents you know or siblings or aunts uncles children like so I get that but just my grandma in general like I mean my mind is going to like oh my gosh you know like silly things things that we do together like you know Christmas shopping and different I just, I, I don't know, my mind just kept going there, and so I was like, what am I going to do if that happens? Like, I will never take a gambling trip for granted again, just little things like that, so anyway, <laughs> it was one of those things, like, I needed to get stuff done today, I needed to wash the dishes after dinner, but I just threw it all, and I was like, nope, we're going to go visit Grandma, she hadn't seen the girls in like a week and a half, two weeks, and I hadn't seen her in a few days, so that's what we did now. The mess will be there for me when I get home, and it wouldn't have mattered had I got it done before I went home because, or before I went to go visit her, it just would have taken time away from being able to visit her. So that's how I'm rationalizing it in my head. And if it doesn't get done tonight, it'll still be there tomorrow. <laughs> and Andres is off tomorrow, so maybe you know four hands are better than two. So maybe we can get it done. And if we can't, again, it's I'm not even gonna like sweat that stuff anymore. There's just so many more important things in life than laundry and cleaning toilets and things that I just don't even, 
not even gonna let it bother me. Now that's not to say I'm not going to clean and do laundry and different things, but it's just those things are not as important as other things in my life. So, anywho, we're headed home. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. And autumn. Good night. I got to catch up on a few shows. We're home, clearly everyone's in bed. It's 10.45 and let's see, what did I watch? Queen of the South and I finished up A Little Women of LA. Edited the vlog, uploaded that. I am having my colon tea, <laughs> look at it. I think I steeped it way too long. Look how dark that is. Now granted, the teamy tea that I use, <laughs> I use the skinny and the colon, the 30 day detox, and I can say it's been helping. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really weighed myself, except, you know, like on the weekend when I normally weigh myself, so. But as far as clearing out things, that it does, <laughs> so I don't know. The colon I've only done why this is the third time that I've used it so the last two times it was not this dark but again I sorry I have an itch on my nose I steep my tea like I'll steep it and then forget about it so this one was probably steeping way too long for it to be that dark and I don't use a whole lot of water because I'm not a huge fan of the taste of tea in general like I'm not I don't really like green tea hot teas in general just kind of gross to me so I do use stevia in both of these or lemon juice you can also put honey honey would probably be good but I don't really use honey too frequently so I just put like a teaspoon of stevia to sweeten it so it doesn't have that like earthy taste I don't know like I said I'm not a huge fan of tea and uh, I don't use very much water so that I can down it quicker and the concentration is better because when I drink water I don't like room temperature water or warm water for that matter I drink cold water all the time which is why I drink out of my hydro flask 99% of the time because it keeps the water cold all day so I can fill it up in the morning and drink it until it's empty I'm so tired but um this is as dark as, as it's ever been so I'm kind of nervous to drink it. Uh, luckily I don't have anything to do tomorrow if I'm stuck in the bathroom all day. This one actually has a better flavor to me than the skinny tea and it's super sweet. I probably could even do a half of a teaspoon of the stevia and it would be sweet enough the skinny tea i like lemon and stevia in it i'm kind of nervous Ooh. so anyway i am about to call it a night here in my bed wait for my hand to get home i'm going to watch the second part of shane dawson and jeffree star's collab and probably laugh my booty off after i finish this Hopefully that's all I lose. I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today. We will see you tomorrow.